Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Battle Buddies video. In this Battle Buddies video I'm going to show you guys the progress that has been made since the last video. It was a little bit over a month ago. In that video I announced that I did the development of Battle Buddies 2 very wrong and that I was going to start over. So I started over from a brand new base plate and I want to show you guys all the progress that has been done so far. A lot of code has been rewritten and a lot more thought has been put behind every system. Now I want to mention that this video will not be like the trailer that we saw from Battle Buddies. I want to make as little cuts in the video as possible so that you guys can actually see how the game looks and what the current state is. Because in the last trailer it looks like the game was finished but it wasn't at all. Without further ado, let's jump in the game and see what I've made so far. So we're loading in the game here. We got the default Roblox loading screen. Switching over to my loading screen which loads a bunch of stuff, shows our development logo and the music starts playing and we are on the menu. So the menu is very special, it wasn't in Battle Buddies 1. Uh, this time I decided to include a menu uh, for one to make sure loading is all okay and nothing get, like has a weird pop-up effect. Uh, I thought it looked a lot cleaner and you will be able to do a bit of options on the main menu. So first off we got the title screen, we got a random buddy, every buddy in the game can be on this screen and we'll show a few more examples in a bit. Uh, we got in the bottom right we see the version number of the server, this way if the game actually drops and updates you will be instantly be able to see if you're in a new server or not. You will be able to start a new game or of course continue your current save file. You can tweak some settings and you will be able to see the patch notes right from the menu. Now before we spawn into the game, let's actually take a look at a few more buddies on the loading screen just for fun and how they look. So this time on the menu we actually got Cindy Hope. So every single buddy is, has a possibility to stand on this menu. Anyway, now that we're finally on this menu, let's click new game and see how the game actually looks gameplay wise. Here we go. So the screen fades to white, the music changes to the lobby music that we heard and we are in the game. Of course we can move around and jump. Now you have noticed that our character uh, looks like this. So right now we cannot change our avatar. However, on release you will be able to pick an avatar from a few starting options and change your hair color and whatnot. Unfortunately, the clothing shops and the hairstylists won't be here on release. However, I wanted to give every player at least some options to change your character when you spawn. I'm thinking something of maybe when you click the new game button, you get like this pop-up from, for example, Pokemon. And it, picks, uh, it asks you, which character do you look like the most? And of course, after you spawn in and the shop update rolls out, you will be able to buy new pants, new shirts, new hairstyles, glasses, wings, whatever. Let me know what you think about that. Anyway, we're in the game here and uh, everything is cardboardy. So this is the new lobby. Uh, it's very long, which I haven't done before because most of the maps are only like uh, three layers thick. But I wanted to have this path here, which will in the future lead you to the other lobbies. So this is the matchmaking lobby. Uh, you got all those Sakura trees, you got the actual elevators, and uh, you got a lot more in these lobbies. 
so let's take a look we got all these lobbies here you can join the cards which we get to in a second on this side we just got a banner and some sitting area and all the way on the other side we also got some more benches some more poles with the flags on top of them and we got some awesome sunflowers over here oh it's so pretty if we look in the top right corner we actually have the new player list which you can hide with tab just like the roblox player list and it will just display uh, everybody on the server then on the left we got the menu it only has two buttons right now but two very important buttons buddies and loadout let's first take a look at the buddy menu so this is the buddy menu these are all the buddies that you have recruited right now they're all star level one and you can't max them yet i'm still not sure if i want you to be able to max your buddies on the first release probably not i'm not sure yet let your feedback be known anyway when you hover over a buddy you can see that they all play their little idol animation and the background shows their element in the top right of everybody you can see what kind of buddy it is so the sword icon means they are more of an offensive type then you got the shield which basically means this buddy is a tank and this special icon over here next to onion means this buddy is a support now support doesn't always mean healer let's take a look at onion for example so we opened onion we can read her passive so she has zero attack and instead of attacking onion performs a fake cry lowering the attack and defense of the enemy for five seconds so onion will be a really great support to um, basically make the enemy weaker so what else can we find on onion screen right here we can see all the stats that this buddy has and how far away you are from progressing to the next star level once again it's not in this base version yet it's all fully coded but i've turned the option off for now how this will work is uh, it will say here that you need to recruit for example 50 onion and if you got 50 onions it will automatically transfer to star level 2 and it will up all her stats making it a better buddy so what else can we do on the screen we can turn the model to the card art in case you want to look at the card art some more i know some people would have liked that let's switch it back and very importantly this button we can see all the credits that worked on this buddy so the buddy creator is brad uh, it's not wearing a skin right now and we can see who animated it modeled it who made the sprite who made the card all good stuff let's also hide that for now over here this clothing hanger when you click on that you can change skins now the system is already fully working however i want to note that flower girl and her skin shop will not be in the first update but the you know the system is already there like you can switch to this or this one and if you got the credits menu open you will see that this the skin creators actually switch so that's really really cool okay let's go back so those are all the buddies that we have right now okay so of course we want to go into a stage but for that we need an actual loadout so the second menu option is loadout so when we click on loadout it opens up this loadout so the starter loadout for right now of course this will change is uh, are these three when you hover over them you can delete them and they go right back here in your available buddy slot so let's delete them all for now and make a cool uh, team so maybe we take marissa with us uh, maybe we take Teru Teru with us, uh, maybe Grass Jelly, and maybe we want to switch out Marissa for Kyle, so we can do that. Uh, so you can build your team this way. Now, let's say we want to have an all Grass team, because Grass types uh, are really, really cool. So let's put all the Grass types in 
here we go. We want to take him, we want to take Modoro and Burnt Floral. And now we got an entire grass team, which is really, really cool. So here we have the entire loadout, all the characters, very, very cool. Uh, now we can also switch our loadout. So let's say we want to go into a fire stage. It would be super annoying to keep uh, removing all your buddies. So we can go to slot number two and let's put some fires in. And after we beat the grass stage, maybe we're going to go to a water stage and we can switch right back. So... The moment you close this UI, the loadout that is active right here is going to be the loadout that you take with you on your adventure. So if you put it on this and you close it, now I will bring those two fire units with me on my next adventure. If I go back and change it to slot 1, I will bring these units with me on my next adventure. There is also this right here. I don't know what I'm gonna put there yet. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. I got some empty space over there. I have no idea what to do with it. I need some suggestions for this. Okay, so joining the match also works. We can go to one of these uh, thingies. Uh, let's go to red world. I think the blue world is actually... Gl no, I think the blue world is working. The red one is glitched. So let's jump in. You're gonna sit in the carriage. You can of course leave whenever you want. So we're inside the carriage. The timer is gonna start running. And now we gotta wait until the timer hits zero. And we will be teleported to our match lobby. So we're just gonna wait a little bit for that. It's only 10 seconds left and we will be transported to Blue World, which is basically the first map. The name isn't final yet. Here we go. It closes down, traveling to B Blue World on the difficulty easy. We've got our new loading screen and it's gonna open up again once everything finishes loading. And we're gonna have to wait for all the players to load. It's only me, so it's gonna be pretty soon. And it's going away. And we can play our match. So this is the lobby that we saw from the trailer. We can move the camera around. We can actually go down slopes this time. Which is cool. So we can finally have elevated uh, levels. Uh, the enemy has already started to spawn some stuff. Don't worry, this will not be the final waves in the game. It's just a little bit of test set, uh, set up. Okay, so they're coming from us and we need to spawn some buddies to defend ourselves. So we got the cards over here. So when you hover over them, they come up and you can take a look at the cards. Now, they're coming for us quickly. So let's defend ourselves with a Butter Sour and a Marissa. So these are gonna fight for us. And as you could have seen, if we, for example, spawn the snail, we get a brand new random card from our pile. Of course, the cost of the card don't really do anything yet, but of that I will code that pretty soon. I didn't get around to that yet. So we can fight them and uh, it shows the damage, it shows how effective it is, like Cindy, we can see, oh, this attack is very effective on us. Uh, but this attack is neutral. So, while they are fighting, let's take another look at our cards. Uh, because you also have another option. And that is to right-click the cards, take a good look at them, see all the stats and any passives they may have. So we got health, attack... Cooldown and costs. I'm thinking about putting the costs over here and the cooldown display on the card, like it's grayed out with like a time that goes down. I will go that pretty soon. Uh, everything that I need to do for the match is have the buddies attack the tower and be able to kill. Uh, for the players, be able to make their tower run across and Basically, have the players use their tower and the recruit system. And at that point, 
the bare bones game is basically done. And I gotta say, that is the most I coded so far for the game. Of course, there are also some other systems that work behind the scene, like handling your save data, making sure hackers can't obtain everybody uh, illegally, uh, and all that stuff. But so far, I'm really happy with the result. Things don't seem to break. Uh, we haven't found any major bugs yet that needed to be patched out. And looking at what I've made so far, I feel pretty confident that I will make my deadline. Uh, perhaps I might even have time to add some other stuff that were planned for the update after that before the deadline. I am really happy with how progress is going, but I would love to hear you guys' feedback. If you want to have a question about anything I showed you guys today, if you want to give some feedback about what you've seen, if you want to have something changed, please give me a reason why and what you think would be better. And I'll be happy to read all those comments or the replies on Discord. This is all we made so far. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next update video. Let's make Battle Buddies an epic game. Bye bye!